Pet with runes. I won three one, but it was still rough. So yeah, who's like. still in? Uh, I know it's Advo runes. Runes Advo blade, blade. Low one, I think maybe. Okay. It's perhaps. Who did you play to get here? Who did you play to get here? Who did you play to get here? Did you beat Low? Low's not in. Okay, okay cool. So <laughs> Something like that. So it's people besides the people that we mentioned. No, yeah. Minus low one. So this should be like loser semis maybe. Yeah. Winner of this plays Blade and then winner of that plays me, I think. So we got Samus, Donkey Kong. What do you know about the matchup? Um... Do you want me to <laughs> Yeah, do what do you what do you think about the matchup? I mean Um like as long as like Admiral can wall out um runes. Yeah, sounds about right. Then it's pretty much impossible, but let's Yeah. So the thing is it's like playing a big character against a zoner, like it's really hard to get in as you said, and Abo does a really good job of keeping you out. Yeah. But runes has this really scary advantage state that I've come to uh, learn. Um and pretty much you know, he lands his back edge, et cetera, and he keeps you in disadvantage. And he just about kills you with it. Um, so even though he's down right now, we could definitely see this turn around very easily. As long as he doesn't get hit by a kill move, get hit by that medium charge shot in the back air, et cetera, then we're fine. Yeah, as long yeah, as he can find a way right in. Here. Yeah, so this stock, it's not over, but it's going to be a hard stock to come back from. 182 on the Donkey Kong. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's this is still very doable though, because like DK just has the killing power, and like as long as he can get in, Bad was doing a really good job of volleying him out. Yeah. So I think uh, honestly, if I was playing a heavier character, I wouldn't let Samus get PS2, because the stage is really, really big. Mm -hmm. And if you have a really, really big stage, you know, zoners are gonna zone. Right. Uh, thing is, Runes is looking for like his cargo carry kill confirm, which uh, is online, maybe about another five percent, maybe, and that's pretty much what he's looking for. Uh, di and get on that throw. You never want to di in on a on a Samus throw. Trying to get the down air, but couldn't get it out. Um, can punish that grab. Avo does these really overzealous grabs. I don't think Rune's gonna get him here. Yeah, that grab is really really long. But if he would have missed it, he would have lost the stock potentially. Right. Potentially. Yeah, that's gonna be the stock. Yeah. Yeah, the stage is it, it's hard. I I really think I would have went to a, like a smaller stage, but you know, Rune's. You know, he's trying his best. Also, streamer, this isn't winner's finals. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Should I get that meaty up B? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think Groom should do in this situation to come back? You Honestly, like, just, Anything? You know, make sure that he's above, so that way, like. Above? To get over him and, like, get in close enough. So, the problem with being getting above, oh, that's, that, that's going to take it off stage When you there. have the platforms, you can get above him. So, the problem is, um, Samus. Up airs you, has lingering up air, multi hit, like a lingering forward air, multi hit. So if you're above that character, you can get shield poked. Yeah. So it's really hard to like platform camp or anything like that or approach from the air versus Samus when they're so always looking to anti air you. So it's a really hard matchup, but it's very stage dependent. I really want to know what stages was like banned and like, I mean, what, ban what stages were struck because, uh, yeah. But back to PS2, like, this stage is a big mistake against zoners. But the thing is, if Runes can get in, he can get his percent, and he could potentially kill him with a uh, cargo carry uh, throw upwards up air. Doing a good job of juggling, yeah. though. Just keeping uh, Advil in the air is just so important in this matchup. Yep. And just making sure that Advil just pulls his projectiles and walls and then baiting them out so that way he can just go in. Yeah, and you, you could definitely see him doing that throughout the matchup because the reason why the matchup is set up like that, this game is set up in a pretty funny way. It's like, uh, that should be death. Oh. Yeah. The B reverse on that down uh, uh -huh. the down B, the slap slap, you know, until that up smash. Uh, bread and butter. But, yeah, so this game's really funny because a character like Samus has a really, really good defensive state and a pretty decent uh, advantage state. But her disadvantage is actually really bad. So if you could take advantage of that, you can definitely give Samus a lot of percent. Yeah, like in this case, like I think uh, at Runes should be running away. Well, he's at ledge, obviously, but yeah. as soon as he gets up on stage. Yeah, I don't know about that role the there. Yeah. I feel like uh, it was like, you know, it's only Abel's right to call out that role. Nice yeah. down tilt there. Did you see that? That was a, uh, <laughs> Did he jump from the ledge or was that default get up? I think it was up? like... Default get up? Default get up, yeah. So I know for a fact when you are at higher percent, you have less iframes on your get up animations. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind, anyone watching, when your opponent is at higher percents, 
if you want to hit them off the ledge or you want to hit anything they do, that's a defensive option like an air dodge, a roll, etc. I'm pretty sure on air dodge as well, they have less iframes. So, you know, just something to know. Yeah, so he, he's in disadvantage. Uh, it's going to be hard. That was a yeah. wonderful parry, wonderful punish there by Avro. So those bombs right there? Mm-hmm. Um, pretty much set up a pretty bread and butter uh, type of ledge trapping for Samus. You just put the bomb down and pretty much wait and see what they're gonna do. Usually put two down, but you know it's gonna be really hard for rooms to get in. You know the stage is not helping them. Yeah, whipping out that uh. Oh, charge wonderful up air to call out that jump though. Unfortunately, not gonna get the roll. You're trying to land that forward, or you know he's trying to get anything he can to take the stock. I feel like. That grab probably would have took it. I don't yeah. know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it doesn't work like that on Samus. Cause I know Heavy's had a hard time. That Wonderful. Was really good. That, was, that was really, really good. Yeah, Runes is definitely playing really, really well. You know, taking advantage of all of Samus's yeah. um, disadvantage um, flaws. You know, but you know, Avo's gonna keep like you know he's gonna keep keeping them out. He's gonna do a good job of doing it. Yeah, I love how patient he's being in trying to get in. Yeah. Like, there's absolutely no rush. There's still four minutes on the clock. So, we got the morph bombs here. Um, oh, unfortunately uh, he not grabbing the ledge. Yeah, he could have killed them there, though, but, you know, I think the morph bombs here are going to lead into a kill, probably. Oh, big okay. punish. No. Oh, no. Okay, still still a big punish. You know, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Oh. oh trying to give not. all he could. He's not going to die here. Okay, oh. wow. Yeah, interesting. I, I don't know if that was supposed to kill, I but don't maybe think it, it was. was. It's possible. Um, it's definitely possible that it was supposed to kill, but yeah. you know, it it really just comes down to how well Runes is willing to play the waiting game and not run into Advo when Advo wants to hold that uh that corner of the stage. You know. Right, and also they keep going back on PS2. Like yeah. I don't know if that's a comfort pick for Runes. But See, it is because Runes wants to do uh, the cargo carry, yeah, and he wants to throw him on the on the platform. But the thing is, like when you give a character like Samus a stage that big, you're gonna have some trouble getting in. But he's gonna switch to Inkling though, because Inkling can maneuver around the stage, you know, a lot faster than DK, of course. But you know, being a lighter character, you know, you, know. you have to find a way in without taking a lot of damage, and you know, you could die to pr pretty weak moves, you know. A nice forward air, fat 15%. Very reminiscent of Diddy Kong's forward air in the last game, you know. Two leg out, lots of, uh, oh, he might be dead? No, nah, he makes he it can back. Still recover from that. Yeah, Avo's playing this really well. So, yeah, good punish. Sadly, you know, Runes is known to be a grabber. You know, he's not going for many grabs, like, you know. Yeah, I think he's, like, just rushing in, trying oh. to get the hits that matter. Yeah, miss input Okay, there. that was a good that was, try. That was a misplay, though, but, you know, still fine. They didn't die from it. I would have liked to see him ledge trap there. You know, Inkling has really, really strong ledge trapping. He's going to be able to make it back. It's going to be annoying. As long as you just keep trying, you'll get back eventually. He's going to lock him in shield with that. Ooh, nice mix-up. That was actually a really good mix-up. Uh, up there will take it. And a DI mix up, mm -hmm. back throw up there. Um, yeah, that, that was a really nice mix up by Runes, though. I like that. Yeah. You get the up throw up there? That's going to be yeah, stark. Whoa, no, fat girl. She's really big. <laughs> um, it's okay. Well, Forder's going to take it, though. Yeah. Calling out that grab. One thing I've noticed about Avo's play when I play him, um, he goes for these long range grabs because um, people underestimate Samus' grab range, you know, like that. So the thing is, if you just like, you know, are at long range versus Avo, if you spot dodge, he's more than likely going to go for the grab regardless. So you can just punish him. That's what I did in my set with him, like the whole thing. Anytime I was long range, I started spot dodging and I started baiting out those grabs and punishing him for it right. with, my gra with a grab of my own. Um, you know, pretty textbook uh, situation right here. You know, Samus in the lead running away. Going to push the advantage right here with these morph bombs. You yeah, know, wonderful. Nice trapping right there. Yeah, it's overwhelming, like, being at the ledge that this is Dark Samus or even Samus at yeah, that point. Yeah, because they, they go for these morph bombs, you know. It's really annoying. Yeah, waiting at the ledge yeah. there. So the trick is, uh, when Samus is doing morph bomb, and he's really cl she's really close to the ledge and she's doing it, you do get up attack. Okay. When you get up attack, you have iframes. And you also and destroy the bombs. No, y yeah, but you just have iframes. So you hit Samus. There's a nice uh, jab lock there. We're rolling into Samus is also something I never do because, um... You know, 
Well, it should be stock. All right, this time, yeah. Yeah, but rolling in the Samus is rough because they almost always, de like, shoot the charge shot if you roll in. Like, both teabagging. I know you saw that. You saw that little <laughs> yeah. cute interaction. Lock them in shield. Cute. So I like that lock them in shield 50-50 option. It's really cool. App OSD. Oh. Yeah. So, like, they did that, like, teabag interaction, but they're still straight facing. Uh, how? I don't know how they do that, like, honestly. I, like, <laughs> Runes just teabagged, like, three times, and then Avo like, came back and teabagged as well. And then they're just, like, straight facing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but honestly, since, like, he's going in fling, like, what stage? Same thing? Yeah. So no, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Okay. Yeah, so Smash Bros. is definitely what I like to see here. Runes could go op He could opt to go back DK. Yeah. Uh, I, I really would have liked to see him try DK here because yeah, the stage because is a, a lot smaller. Yeah, because it's a smaller stage. Yes. And, you know, that platform allows him to get his cargo carry confirmed. So, you know, the game four here. You know, start with the Splat Bomber. So every time Inkling does something, I feel like it, it sets you up for a 50-50 situation. I think that's really cool. You know, it's pretty cool character design by Nintendo. Not being sarcastic at all, or am I? Uh, but, yeah, pretty cool design. Yeah, you got to get back to the stage. Yeah, everyone's having a really hard time getting back. Morph Bomb. Yeah, he's going to do Morph Bomb here into Charge Shot or up to it. So he's going to keep this Charge Shot because Charge Shot does like 35% or more, I believe. So if he can land this Charge Shot, it would be like a lot of extra credit. Yeah, or an even a stock. No, I mean, it wouldn't be a stock right now for no, sure. No, not right now, he's but later on. Like very soon. Oh, yeah, this... Yeah, this especially with these trades. Yeah, this is looking really hard. Are oh, we trying to get it there? All right. Down tilt. Nice forward air. Trying to get that F smash. Yeah. It would have been perfect. Uh, you know, I like when Rooms comes on stage with this um, with a little, little splat gun thingy. It locks you in shield. Shuts down on any ledge trapping you have, really. Getting that lingering forward air. Uh, Apple's playing the this parry really well. Yeah, it's going to take it. He threw out that splat bomb in the air, you know. Versus the character like Samus, when Samus has charge shot, you can't really press a button in the air. You have to, like, wait for them to do something so you can air dodge. Uh, he makes it back there. Cool. All right, jab lock. Down smash. Not after for the F smash. I don't think it would have killed. Probably doesn't want to stale it. Doesn't have another stock to de stale his moves. All right, more flaw covering his roll. Up there, up there. Nope, out of the range. He can just chase him off stage. Not going to be able to get the forward there, though. Pretty tough situation. Inkling's kill confirm is offline. You know, Samus has the lead. You know, this is looking pretty bleak, but it's very much doable. You know, just got to play your cards right. Inkling has these kill confirms. Any character with a kill confirm has great comeback potential. You know, just got to play the stocks right. You know, kind of overzealous on that up smash there. He's out of ink also, so Rune has to get some ink. Funny enough, Inkling can still recover without ink. <laughs> Makes no sense. Back throw's gonna take Backless it. He's gonna get his uh, ink back. You know, you know, you see I Advo opt for these jabs a lot of the time mm -hmm. because uh, Samus's jab one and jab two actually don't combo. If you didn't know, like they don't combo at all. So Samus is have to opt for jab one yeah. into something. But the thing is about that, Samus's jab one is negative on hit. So if you get hit by a Samus jab at zero percent, you can definitely hit her back. Yeah, and so like, there's been several times when I, when I fall out at Bo and he jab one me. He has to eat. It's fine though. Yeah, so. We're gonna run by runes. No, try his best. Three one. Yeah, but if Samus jabs, jab.